Good day my amiable viewers. This video is about one of the recommended texts in the WIAC 2026 to 2030 syllabus. The drama text is titled Antony and Cleopatra, written by William Shakespeare. This is just the plot summary of Antony and Cleopatra. Let's first identify some of the characters in the play. The characters. We have them in groups here. We have the triumphants. These are the three people in charge of Rome after the death of Julius Caesar. The first person there is Mark Antony. We also have Octave Caesar and Marcus Lepidus. There are also friends of Antony. We have Domitius Enobabos, Fentidius, Eros, Scaros, Dacitas, Demetrius, and Philo, also friends of Caesar, Masris, Agrippa, Dorabella, Proculeus, Tyros, and Gallus, friends of Pompey. We have Mena, Menecrates, and Virius. Cleopatra is the queen of Egypt. We also have Octavia, that is sister's, I mean, sister's sister and Antony's wife. We also have Cleopatra's attendant, that is those that are that attending to her. We have Alexas, Hadian, Silicos, Diomedes. We also have Taros. We also have Tyros as the Lieutenant General to Caesar, Canidius, Lieutenant General to Antony, Silius, an officer in Fentidius' army, Ephronius, an ambassador from Antony to Caesar. We also have officers, soldiers, messengers, and attendants. Those, those are some of the major characters we have in the play. Now, the plot summary. Antony and Cleopatra is a tragic play written by William Shakespeare. It was first performed in 1607 by the King's Men at the Black Prayers Theatre. Mark Antony, the protagonist and one of the three rulers of the Roman Empire, lives a reward life. He engages in unwholesome affairs with Cleopatra, the beautiful queen of Egypt. You know, we talk about the triumph. Those are the three people that, uh, that were in charge of Rome after the death of Julius Caesar. So Mark Antony happens to be one of them. But instead of him to stay in Rome, he, he engages in an awesome affair with the queen of Egypt, Cleopatra. Antony receives a message that Fufia, his wife, is dead and that Pompey is raising an army to rebel against the triumvirate. This prompts him to return to Rome, that is from Egypt. His fellow triumphants, Octavius Caesar and Lepidus, worry about Pompey's increasing strength in the absence of Antony. Caesar bemoans Antony's abandoning his responsibility as a state man, a military officer, and living a decadent life with Cleopatra. When he arrives in Rome, Caesar quarrels with him. Lepidot tries to make peace because there is a need to be in alliance to defeat Pompey. Caesar and Antony then agree that the latter will marry Octavia, that is, Antony will marry Octavia, sister's, sister's sister, to solidify their loyalty to one another. Antony's closest friends predict to Caesar's men that Antony will go back to Cleopatra despite the marriage. Cleopatra is not pleased when she hears about Antony's marriage to Octavia. However, she is confident that she will win Antony back when a messenger tells her that Octavia is unimpressive and plain. The triumphants and Pompey solve their differences without going to battle. Pompey exchanged peace for rule over Sicilia and Sardinia. The four men drink that evening to celebrate their troops. One of Pompey's soldiers informs him about a grand plan to assassinate the triumphants, thereby delivering what power into Pompey's hand. He dismisses it as an affront to his honor, 
In the same vein, the general of Antony becomes victorious over the kingdom of Parthia. When Antony and Octavia leave for Athens, Caesar wages war against Pompey with Lepidus' army and wins. He afterward accuses Lepidus of treason and imprisons him. He also confiscates his properties and land. Antony is angered when the news gets to him that Caesar has been speaking badly about him publicly. Octavia appeals to Antony to keep peace with her brother. She says if they fight, her affections will be affected. Antony sends Octavia to Rome on a peace mission and flies to Cleopatra in Egypt. While in Egypt, he raises a large army to confront Caesar and fight him. However, Caesar is not pleased with how Antony treats Octavia, his sister. He leads his army and navy to Egypt against all her faith not to do so. Antony chooses to fight him at sea and Cleopatra commands a ship, despite the noble's objections. Antony forces flows the battle because the fleet becomes vulnerable when Cleopatra's ship flees and Antony follows. Antony is dejected and condemns Cleopatra for leading him into loss. Antony requests to be allowed to live in Egypt and Cleopatra requests that a kingdom be given to the rightful heir. Caesar promises Cleopatra a fair hearing if she betrays her lover, but Antony's request is dismissed. Cleopatra gives thought to Caesar's message when Antony enters and causes her for treachery. He then orders the innocent messenger whipped. When Antony later forgives Cleopatra, the Nobabos concludes that Antony is finished and they sat him for Caesar's camp. Antony recalls victory over Caesar's troops in battle. When he hears about Enobabo's defection to Caesar's camp, he blames it on his bad fortune that corrupted Enobabo's. He then sends his possessions to Caesar's camp and returns to Cleopatra for the celebration of his victory for Caesar. Enobabo's is ashamed of his disloyalty, feels guilty and dies. In another battle, Antony meets Caesar at sea and is defeated again. The Egyptian fleet treacherously abandons the fight and leaves Antony to be defeated. Antony fails to kill Cleopatra because he believed she betrayed him. Cleopatra plays a fast one on Antony. She quarters herself in a monument, pretending to have committed suicide. Antony, who is grieved, decides to join Cleopatra in grief. That is when he hears about uh, her death. He's grieved. He's not happy with it. He commands one of his attendants to kill him, but the attendant does otherwise. Anthony afterward falls on his sword, but doesn't die immediately. He is then carried to Cleopatra's monument and is there together with Cleopatra briefly before he dies. Caesar takes Cleopatra prisoner and plans to parade her in Rome to show the strength of his empire. Cleopatra hears about this disgraceful her. Cleopatra hears about this disgraceful plan and she prefers to die rather than being disgraced. She kills herself with several poisonous snakes and is buried beside Antony, according to Caesar's command. So this is just the plot summary of Antony and Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Please, I recommend that we read the text, we read the whole text, no? As I said, this is just the plot summary. So that for better understanding of the whole uh, text, we need to read the whole text. So if you are new on this platform, try and subscribe to this platform. That's Literature Hub 247 on YouTube. If you have any question or comment, do not hesitate to send it to the comment section and it will be attended to. Like this video, you are free to, to post it on any social media platform. Introduce your colleagues and friends to join us. The review of the heart of the, uh, the, the play will come up later. Please be on the lookout for it. Thank you and God bless.